Hi Scorpio, welcome back, welcome if you're new. Welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia. <coughs> so I'm going to jump straight in. If you're new, please check out the playlist. The playlist has everything for you to get you started on your Twin Flame mission, union with self, then union with your person. What's going on with Scorpio? jump in first card eight of wands which is eight of fire mm. it's like as if you're getting okay <laughs> this is a bit different it's are you the feminine or i could be talking to uh, a feminine but is a man because <laughs> i'm getting an image of a younger boy here that used i say used to they stopped me but when they was younger i would say from the age of seven used to see um like I would call it orbs, avatar film, they were like these little like glowing lights floating around when they touched the flowers, something like that. So it's about balancing out your masculine and feminine. Um, brought up isolated. But although you was isolated, you felt secure in your own self at the young child. It's straight from the off, your inner work. Um, and something about culture as well. It's like you knew you was protected from a child, this card. The next card is the hanged man. So why is that relevant? Is a stagnant, slow, non a stopped energy. This could be for um, gay people as well. Hold on, I'm getting a more of a download for this reading. So, well, it's not download, a knowing. So, they're kind of telling me something. What's going on here? The hangman. It's like as if there's something about masculine, feminine, and like balancing that out. And now you're being still and you're feeling that. Because, like, for example, this retrograde, this rebirth, this death experiences, you know, all this that's going on with the portals and uh, retrogrades and things is made you become still or the um, no communication, not moving forward with your person or something like that. Yeah, maybe you're wanting communication, but you're getting communication from upstairs about balancing out yourself. So this could be, I'll, I'll just say this, this could be someone in the closet, gay in the closet, and um, didn't balance out the masculine feminine. This could also be, it um, doesn't have to be gay, just more feminine and more expressing himself, an extrovert or something like that. Uh, but um, this is what this is here to teach you. It's like you s s hide it. 
it's like as if you went and played outside in the garden with the fairies or something like that and you was expressing yourself in a way right could be dance could be something here right and it's like with the judgment call here it's like the angels and upstairs is telling you to go back to that self so if this is for you it's very particular reading but if this is for you then this is the time to be go back to that and and bring it into the now because it's like as if you're not that now this is what it's saying or you do it secretly or something like that It's like as if you could have been, there's a couple of stories or this could be, I don't know, this could be, you could have been a tomboy and you grow um, any of those um, situations, also I'm picking up tomboy, but you could have been and you grow, you're older now and it's like you're not happy with oneself. There's a, there's a, um, I would say borderline depression and this started to kick in from the age of 15. Because you still feel your true authentic self. But your appearance is of something else. This is why your twin flame is here. And you, you know, and I think you know this. You constantly think about them. This is about um, the Ace of Water here. This is the Empress loving yourself, about loving yourself truly. It's like as if you, it's you and say, love yourself, higher self. This card, I don't, anyway. This one is about. Um, It's like a mask, like a false ego. You express yourself here with the Ace of Water. And I'm not reading them like they are. <laughs> you know, a new emotional offer, blah, blah, blah. I'm reading the actual, yeah. So this is the Ace of... Um, it's, you're out there and you're pretending you're something you're not. And it's you do it on an automatic. You're successful at it. You could even do cocaine or something to just force yourself to go out there and when you're back at home it's, it's a blase it's a it's a, a, a numbness to the world to who you are this is like You could be an incarnated elemental. This is this card is to me is like you try to ground yourself, or also you live off this planet, and what you do is you go into altered verses. Whoever this resonates with, it's a bit unusual. I apologise. Go check out your other signs if this isn't for you. But it's like as if you're a um, this card on top of the judgment call. Is like you live off planet Earth, yes, but that don't mean that you can't use your imagination state and tap into uh, other realms of reality, tap into that, you know, um, connect with fairies and people and, you know, passed over or whatever, right? Whatever that is for you, that's what this is. It's like you try to do it on this plane. For example, you might do something like meditation. And it's like, no, it's okay to think or uh, see orbs. It's okay to express yourself. It's okay to um, do all the stuff that this, if this connects to you. That's what this reading is about. It's like waking you up to go back to your true self and express it freely and love yourself fully by connecting with those people from the past well, you know, the fairies, the orbs or whatever you were seeing in secret gardens or whatever. And you can do that freely. Uh, that's why your twin flame's here. Um, so it's it, it's making you still. Because it's like when you're being still, this happens. 
okay it's a bit unusual bit different but um if this resonates and you want to know more about yourself and how i can help you to uh progress with this uh book me uh check out my playlist i'll speak to you later